Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in my video, I'm going to show you the sneaky ways that I get my toddler to eat healthy. Okay, so my two-year-old fox is like the worst eater ever. I don't know what happened. It's like when he turned two, like a switch was flipped and he just became a giant turd that won't eat anything. I mean, he won't eat sauce. He won't eat any type of meat, like at all. Like once in a while, I can get him to eat like a chicken nugget, but it has to be in the shape of a dinosaur. And even then, he will only eat the heads off of the dinosaurs. I'm talking serious, terrible, turdy twos. We have to be really creative on like trying to get him to eat things. And like sometimes he'll just like only want strawberries. And then the next day he's like, what? Strawberries? I don't like strawberries. Why do you think I would eat strawberries? So you always have to keep offering him everything as often as possible. He always has vegetables on his plate just so that he knows that that's where they belong, whether he eats them or not. Um, so in this video, I'm going to share with you like a couple of sneaky ways that we've hidden some healthier foods inside of other foods. Probably if you have like a normal toddler, your toddler probably eats bananas like a regular kid. But unfortunately, I have to hide bananas in my children's food. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. My first recipe is super easy. It's actually from my mother. This is crock pot applesauce. I like to add some pears into mine because I just think it tastes really good. And my secret ingredient is carrots. You're going to throw all of this into a crock pot or mine is a rice cooker. It actually does everything and I'm obsessed with it. We can talk about that later. Um, but I just throw everything in there with like a teaspoon of cinnamon. And I just, I set it for like seven hours and I just let it cook overnight and it'll make your whole house smell just totally amazing. I'm gonna use my immersion blender to make it nice and smooth. If you like a little bit more texture to your applesauce, you can totally use like a potato masher for this, but you'll want to peel your fruits before that. I like to keep mine really cold because I think it's more like desserty that way. And of course, every member of the house loves this recipe. My next recipe is really simple, easy spinach popsicles. Now the only thing that's in this is fresh spinach and grape juice. I don't give my kids juice ever. They only have water and milk, so juice is a treat like in itself. I am going to use my immersion blender again to make it really, really liquidy because if Fox found a leaf in his popsicle, he would never eat a popsicle again. So I make really good sure that it's nice and smooth. I'm just going to fill up my popsicle trays. I got this at Ikea, it was like a dollar. And then just for like a little texture, I'm going to cut up some grapes and put them inside too, just so that there's like a little fruit surprise in there while he's eating it. Sometimes we even put gummy bears in there if we're feeling extra fancy. And Fox totally loves these. He has no idea that there is spinach in there. He asks for them. Another favorite in our house are these breakfast cookies. They're super easy to make and we usually have everything to make them laying around. I combine two cups of oats with two bananas. I like to put the bananas in the microwave because it's easier for them to be like real creamy and it'll work a lot better as a bonding agent the more like liquidy you can make them. I add a quarter of a cup of peanut butter. You can use any type of nut butter. And especially if you're trying to watch like how much sugar your kid's eating, you could use something that didn't have any sugar added. Just a dash of cinnamon, and then you can use raisins or chocolate chips, but we use prunes because we always have prunes in the house because I make my own baby food. So we always have prunes. So I chop those up, I throw those in, then I just form them into little balls and I mush them down because they will not rise or anything in the oven because there's no like flour in there. So you make them the shape that you want them.
and then you just bake them for 12 to 15 minutes at 350 degrees and Fox totally thinks that he gets to eat cookies for breakfast so it works my next recipe is for protein pancakes I start off with some bananas which this one ends up going to the dog hey that's what they're here for um, but I start out with a couple bananas and to that I add a couple of eggs now Fox like loves breakfast food and pretty much hates everything else so we eat breakfast food for lunch we eat breakfast food for dinner so I've had to try to find some ways to kind of make traditionally more carby things like waffles and pancakes into something that's a little bit more healthy so I throw in a couple of eggs with my bananas and I mash that all up you want to get it you know as like thin and pancakey as possible but it's okay if there's some soft little lumps in there I put just a splash of milk in there and then I also do use just a little bit of pancake mix just because I've tried this a lot of different times and he just won't eat it unless it like really is a pancake shape and like I find that you just can't get that nice round shape and that nice color unless you throw a little flour or a little pancake mix in there. So I like to use my griddle because I can make a lot of pancakes at one time. I only have to clean one dish and it's just a lot easier than using the stove. And just like regular pancakes, they take maybe just a little bit longer. Um, but they look just like regular normal pancakes and he has no idea that they're so much better for him and I use a pizza cutter uh, because it just is really fast and easy to make little nice bite-sized pieces for him and as you see Fox gets totally down and Duke thinks he's gonna get another piece of something <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you got some ideas on how to maybe integrate some more healthy things into your own toddler's diet. Let me know in the comments below if you try any of this or if you have any ideas for me or just if you need to vent about your generally turdy two-year-old because hey, we have all been there. So let me know and of course subscribe, give it a thumbs up and come back for more mom stuff, lady stuff, and life stuff. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. What do you want, buddy? A popsicle. A pop popsicle? Is that what you want? Okay. Okay.